Welcome back to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. For those of you who are here for the first time, welcome to my Wet Hint Wonders. And of course, if you are a repeat offender, welcome back. I love you. I'm so glad that you are here. Okay, today's episode is a chit chat cafe. We chit, we chat, and we crochet. Today is the last episode for the month of August, and I cannot believe it's been a little over a full month since I started doing all of this. And today is actually episode number 12. I can't believe it. So anyway, let's kind of get into it. Now, uh, if you've been following my updates um, on here and also on Instagram, you know that I did finish the baby blanket that I had been working on for our chit chat cafes. And now I'm actually working on, this is a crochet, a Tunisian crocheted sock. I'm almost finished with the second one, um, which is so strange because the very end of May was the kickoff for the summer sock camp that the crazy sock lady does every summer and I started with a knit sock and only got part way through and just I couldn't I couldn't go on with it and then I crocheted a regular sock but I was not happy with how it turned out so I just kind of put the sock thing down to the side and I'm not really sure what inspired me now, unless it's of course, the way ADHD works is if you get a deadline and in this particular instance, it was literally three months. There were three months to work on at least one pair of socks. And here I am literally working the last, what is today? Okay, the last two days of the month trying to finish a pair of socks <sighs> in all honesty or in all is it transparency okay so here is the first sock and I know it looks to me it looks funny it looks short but it isn't because it's so stretchy and uh, this is I use the Tunisian knit stitch and this is um, oh what is it it's opal sock I'll put the name of the sock down right here to me the print reminds me of starry night by van gogh which is one of the reasons I got it so anyway so that's the first sock and this is how far I've gotten on the second sock which really all I have left to do is I think two more rows and then the toes and then I'll just seam it all up together I did as a practice using the premier yarn that I had gotten from um Hirschner's. Um, it's really cute. Uh, the contrast here is the same one that I'm actually using on this sock, which is just the oh, it's it's the one that came with my in my Mary Maxim sock mystery yarn bag. And the reason why I used it one is it looks really good, but two, the skein of this yarn is so small. It it was like. 200 and something yards. I wasn't sure it was going to be enough to make the two socks. But what I'm going to do is once I finish the second of the blue socks, I'm going to go ahead and hook up, hook on the, the mate to this one and I'll see how far that yarn gets me. So that is what I will be, or this is what I'll be working on for today's uh, chit chat. All right. Oh, also, if you noticed, if you saw Sunday, I had flipped the calendar to see what September's inspiration photo was going to look like, which is here, in case you didn't get a chance to see it. And I primarily was hoping to focus on like the lower half of the photo because it's more of the fall colors. And after I looked at this, I went and looked in my stash. Are y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 okay, are y'all ready? Look at this. Wow. Uh, 
I know, right? It's crazy. This is like just insane and it's perfect. I mean, it is perfect. This is once again, another of the Yarn Bee Authentic Hand Dyed Yarns. Um, this is Turquoise Sky. It's 100% superwash merino wool. And of course, a little orange sticker. I got it on clearance and oh my gosh. Look, I'm loving using this stash yarn or the clearance yarn that I hoard. I'm not a hoarder. The clearance yarn that I was able to procure. I think that's the right word. I've already started the project and I'll, I get to tell you about that on the next episode. So spoilers, the topic of today's chit chat cafe in full is something that I think we all experience in one way or another. And I don't know if this is, I don't feel like it's crochet specific, um, but I'm, I, let's just assume that it is not, that it is just every fiber artist's dilemma, if you will. And the dilemma is <sighs> that yarn is just so pretty. I don't know if I should use it. Or I got to wait for some special project to make using that beautiful slash expensive yarn. Raise your hand if that's you. If you've ever looked through your stash and you found the perfect, again, like the perfect yarn to match whatever you were picturing at the time, but then you pause because you're like, ooh, uh, and, and it's like, it feels almost like, you know, you don't want to eat all of the cake because that's a bad idea, but that you're afraid because then you won't have it anymore or something along those lines. And again, that is something that I personally have experienced a lot. Even, even when I was uh, looking through my stash at the clearance yarn that I bought, I was like, it's got to be, and, and again, it has to be the right project. After my trip to the uh, local yarn shop and the yarn that to me is like, I do want to make the perfect project with it. But once upon a time, Jackie would say, I, I don't feel like there's anything that I can make that's deserving of that yarn. And it's strange because it's like we forget if we were using, you know, let's let, I don't know, the, oh, the Just Yarn from Dollar Tree, which is what I use to make the, the baby blanket. Um, it's incredibly soft and I had no qualms about using it and I had used some of it in a different project, but it wasn't the right project. So I frogged it without any issue and moved on with life and blah, 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 blah. But I was, I was more willing to use the Dollar Tree yarn for any and everything than I was to use the Yarn Bee yarn. It's, it's their yarn whatever you're making, depending on the recipient, is going to appreciate what you've made. So why, I mean, why do we, why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we think that, I mean, is that like some, again, some little hidden part in our brain that's saying that crochet isn't good enough for special yarn? Um, that, you know, handcraft or hand dyed yarns or hand spun yarns or whatever is something only for the knitting group. Huh? Why would we think that? Why? What what has happened to us as a people that has sort of, again, put implanted in our head that we're not good enough for good yarn? This is what I'm going to say. 
Yes, I still struggle with it. And to this day, I'm still trying to figure out uh, to this day, like I've been like, this has been like, you know, years or something, but I'm still trying to figure out the perfect item or the perfect project to make with my Noro yarn, because part of me wants to create something to design something, but I'm afraid that I don't have enough yarn. And so that's my issue with that yarn specifically. Maybe let's, let's start a conversation. Let's again, let's ask ourselves, do we somehow or another feel that we are not worthy of nice yarns? And I know crochet uses, I think someone said 30% more yarn to make something than knitting does. If it's a matter of cost, I can kind of see it, but at the same time, it's like, we're going to work with this yarn. And I, I saw a, um, a YouTuber that made this beautiful, I think it was a, I think it was an Afghan blanket and she was, it was a crochet along and the recommended yarns were red heart ombre maybe. And she had like three different colorways of this, of this yarn to make. And she loved the finished item and she loved how it was working up but she was putting herself through misery because of the pain that the yarn that using the yarn was causing and again I understand looking at beautiful yarn and we've all seen beautiful yarns again even when I was in the yarn shop I looked at stuff that I was thinking oh my gosh this is going to be like the best most awesome and I went to touch it and Mm. I don't remember what the makeup of, of it was, but it was not soft at all. And, and I think maybe in that moment, that's when I was thinking, okay, so there's some bougie yarn out there that ain't all that great. So it's, it's not, we should not limit ourselves unnecessarily by... I don't know the name brand on the yarn, the cost of the yarn, because if you already have, if you've purchased the yarn and it's already in your stash, that means you at some point decided that it was good enough for you to have. So if it's good enough for you to have, it's good enough for you to use. Now, no, that's it. It's good enough for you to use between us I would probably not make something for an other person <laughs> out of the nicer yarn the nicest yarn because I want to be able to enjoy it now if you enjoy making and gifting literally everything that you do that's great. And then give it, but give it to somebody that you know is worthy. Because again, we've put the time in. We've, again, picked out the yarn, picked out the pattern, and we sat here with, for hours and hours and hours working with this material. And if you give it to somebody that's just going to be like, oh, that's it. No, no, honey. No. First of all, you do not need that person in your life. I don't care how related they are to you because good manners is good manners. And if you don't already know by now, if that person is worthy of your quality yarn, mm -mm, don't just, just don't do it. Because I think collectively as a community society, collectively as a crochet society, we would all weep for you and with you. And we would probably want to know more information about this person so that we could have a chat. All that to say is, we have the yarn, we love the yarn, we are worthy of the yarn, let's use the yarn. You can check back with me in about six months and see how well I've done with that. But I am actively trying to find projects to use my quality yarns. I'll, I'll say it that way. 
After I made the blanket, I had enough yarn left over that I made two baby hats with the, with some of the, I said that already. Anyway, I made two baby hats to go along with it. So I'm really excited for the recipient to receive and I will let you know what she says. That was my big thing for today. Um, also, I have realized that again, I cannot crochet much and chat because uh, I talk with my hands, but with Tunisian crochet, I haven't figured out how to do the, I call it the braille method. Basically, I, I can't feel my way through stitches quite yet. So I have to look down a little for a little bit more. And I actually think I counted too many. Just please hold. Later. Oh, okay. I'm on the right one. I do. Let me look at my notes as I'm trying really hard to. Okay, so yarn. And oh, all right, I got a couple of. What did I say? What did I say? Oh, a little stuff I got. I ordered something from Queen's Yarn Boutique. I, I'm following her on Instagram, and she's having a sale. At least right now, she's having a sale. I think her yarn is. 20 or 30% off. I'm not really sure. I will leave her information. I'll put it here, but I'll also leave it down in the description box in case you want to take a look. Don't remember what I ordered, but I ordered two skeins of whatever it is. So without further ado, I have cut open the bag, so hopefully it won't be too noisy. <gasps> okay. I do like that she put the bag, the yarn inside of a plastic bag because looking at the envelope let me see i say envelope i don't know if you can see that at first i thought it was just a really dark raindrop considering it's all raindrops here but there's actually a hole in the shipping bag so because she double bagged it my yarn is safe this one is <sighs> okay this one is called sherpa and I'm pretty sure the reason why I bought this, let me see if you can get the color. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. This, okay, I think this color is a little darker than I remember, but I ain't mad at it. Um, but the base is pop life fingering and again, my 80s heart. My love for prints, pop life. Don't know if that's what that is from, but for me, that's what it is. So it is 100% super wash merino wool, 490 yards, 100 grams, and it is a three ply. Um, yes, and it, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Now, 490 yards, I feel like I can do a whole lot of damage with that, but Look, it has a friend. This one is called Monarch. Let me see if I can get that to lean in just right. I love these colors. The white, the yellow, like the white fading into the yellow here. And then it's an orangier color there. And then the specks or the splashes of the, it's not black, it's, well, okay, maybe uh, it's like charcoal and then it gradiates up. If that's a professionally sounding word, if I sounded like an expert, kudos, because I didn't know what I was talking about. But you understand what I'm saying. It's like it's light and then it just, or it's dark and then it just gets slowly lighter. And again, pop life fingering, 100% super wash merino wool, 490 yards. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to set this as a goal for 2023. I'm going to try not to automatically assign yarn to shawls. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, but this is gorgeous. I just really like these. So, yay. 
All right, and last but not least, another show and fail, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Earlier this month, I was going on and on and on about how much I hate this specific um, fingering yarn that I've gotten. It was the Yarn B, but it has, it's like wool and lyocell. Let me see if I still have, here we go. This is the Offender. Authentic hand dyed, the colorway, Veiled Amethyst. Beautiful, beautiful colorway. It is 50% superwash merino, 50% lyocell, 400 yards. Okay, so remember I had tried knitting it. I tried Tunisian crocheting it. And then I decided that I'm going to use my Pursuing Peace shawl pattern and just regular crochet it. And I was like, that's gonna make everything better. It did not. Go and fail. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, you're asking yourself, what's wrong with it, Jackie? not the pattern <laughs> I already know that the first one perfect beautiful that was the July shawl this it's the feel of the yarn as an ADHD -er, texture is an issue so oh. that might be it and you know I, I judge yarns I have like you know the three stages which is the squish the rub and then how it feels in the final um, piece and <sighs> the squish is fine when I actually got it I didn't realize that it was 50 50 I thought it was a hundred percent and not because I felt it or anything it was just hanging all up along with the other 100 percenters and so it wasn't until I had gotten it home and I think actually when I was doing my first uh, video and I show, was showing it and that's when I realized that it was not 100%. But I knew something was up when I was hanking it up. No, when I was caking it up that there was just something not quite right about it. You know, it, it, uh, but the color is so pretty. Now, am I going to give up? Yes. No. I've got one more. Um, I think I might have one more option. I do have a knitting machine. That's probably the end of that statement because I have no idea what I would. I, I don't want a hat out of it. It. I don't think a hat. <laughs> I mean, again, it's really, really pretty it's just not pretty for me so I mean look at it it's really pretty veiled amethyst that it's so pretty maybe if I could learn how to crochet with my mind and I didn't have to touch the yarn while I was working with it maybe that would make it better I don't know but thumbs down Couple of other things. Rose Likes Crochet is, is uh, collecting for winter sets in September. I've already started, uh, I've made a cowl and I'm now making a, uh, a matching hat. And that's what I'm working on so far. I have to actually see what the full, first full week of September looks like before I can really see how many more I can push out but I know at least I want to I want to have at least one set that I will be sending so hopefully there will be more and something again if you're not familiar with Rose whenever you whatever you can send in do not apologize whether it is because you only sent in one or whatever because every little bit helps and 
that is the it's almost like a rule on her channel don't apologize all right i want to show you an update on my august shawl it won't be finished by the end of the month unfortunately but there's a couple of reasons why the biggest reason is i had gotten literally let me see here let me get untangled okay i had gotten about this far eh. and okay i i don't know what that is let's see that is I don't have a measuring tape down here. I'm not really sure what I'm showing, what I'm trying to figure out, but okay. So let's just say uh, oh, 14 inches into it. And um, I noticed that aside from the fact that it's curling, which is very common in uh, Tunisian crochet, uh, I will block it, but um, it was curling, but it wasn't growing. And it turns out, no, you can't really see it. And it's hard for me to even describe, but somewhere in that i think i must have fallen asleep because i stopped increasing where i was supposed to increase and so it, anyway it was all messed up so long story short i frogged it all the way back to the beginning and since then everything is going well and it's just going to continue to get wider you know as it goes up because it's asymmetrical but wow, you can really see, oh my goodness, that's so cool. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll put the inspiration photo in against, so again, so you can see exactly what I was working with. Y'all, this yarn is so, oh, where is it? Oh. It's living in my Made by Foxy bag. I have used this bag ever since I got it and it is perfect. I've taken it places. It is, I cannot say enough about how perfect this bag is. Anyway, the yarn is so soft. Even the little sparkle pieces that are in there. I'm not really sure if I can get that to show up or not. But there's little sparkles, sparkly bits, but the sparkly bits are not, you can't, it's not, you can't feel it. So it's not like a tinsel or anything, but oh, it is so soft, just like the one that I'll be using next month. It's, it's so soft. Ugh. You think like there was a class and all of the smart people showed up to the class and the, no, there was a party. There was a party and all the cool kids came in and all the cool kids got all the softness, all of the, all of the beauty and loveliness that goes into the Hobby Lobby yarn, right? And then the party starts winding down and then Lyacell shows up and he just starts scraping up whatever is left on the floor that the awesome people left behind. <sighs> All right. Mm -mm. That is no, that is not. That is not how we're going to end this episode. We are going to end this episode on a high note. And the high note is August is behind us. September is ahead. I'm so looking forward to the rest of the year. I have, oh, I've made so many, many new friends. Here I go, comment section. Y'all are so awesome. There's the interchange of just encouraging words and just wonderful, oh, it's, oh, ooh. yes. Y'all are so awesome and you know, I. I realized that like when you're on YouTube, when you reach certain milestones, certain things happen. So like when you reach a hundred subscribers and you've been on for a month, you get to customize your URL. So you're like youtube.com slash C slash crochet ADHD. So that's what I am now. 
And the next milestone is the community tab. And you get that when you have 500 subscribers. Now, I'm not really sure what a community tab is, but I feel like it's kind of like a message forum kind of thing. And I am here for that because everything that we have been doing in the comment section will be able to actually do on a community tab in a bigger way. So I am so excited for it. And I just want to say that thank y'all so much for, for just, you know what, for taking this ride with me and again, listening to my ramblings. And if words of wisdom happen to eat through, either I apologize or you're welcome. I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm really happy that I'm, that you've invited me into your, into your space and that I get to be with you when you crochet. And, you know, I, I just, I just love it. I wasn't working on this when I, okay, nope. It's, <laughs> Out of my mind. If you like this video, please like this video. Comment. If you want to stick around, that's awesome. Just make sure you click and rock that notification bell. Until next time, I've been Jackie.